Hey everybody, welcome back to a new episode of Clone Evolution! Sorry I was disappeared because I was doing a video earlier today on Gravity Wells and I used the same screen but I turned myself off. Nah, it doesn't always require other people to do that. <laughs> Just look in the mirror, I'm like, oh god! <laughs> Alright, let's see what kind of action I got in today's episode. I'm really not too sure if anything's going to happen. I don't think so. I don't know, I've been saving up more purples, but i got a long ways to go before I have enough to do a cash in of those again. I'll try some casino spins. Maybe we can hit Darius, but I think that's a long shot. Let's try that right now. Before we do the Darius spins, let's get some Bitcoin spins. I'm at 21,498 Satoshi. Boom! 21,517 Satoshi. If anyone else wants to help support my show, they can do it by signing up to the free Bitcoin lottery that I just did spins for. I got the link before, below. Just hit the more info button. <coughs> now, a bunch of my family came over today for... What was it? I guess just a barbecue or a pizza. So I was a little bit late in recording the show today. Well, actually not by much. There's no sports going on tonight. Just the Lakers versus Houston. And every time I watch, the Houston just loses. And I find as soon as I turn it off, they catch up and win. So I just have to turn it off. Hopefully that Houston can win. Although I would kind of like to face LeBron in the playoffs again. It's been a while. My team, the Raptors, still got the, a tough Celtics matchup to, to, to defeat. But at least we tied our series. Alright, let's do two casino spins. Come on, Darius. I think someone was telling me they got three Dariuses on the last casino event. I was like, holy shit, that was good luck. Maybe that's if you... Uh, if you have the VIP level, they give you a bit better luck. Oh, come on. That wasn't so bad. Brown Squirrel's actually better than what I usually get. Hey, someone just drew Darius. Come on. Where's my Darius? Right there. It's nice to see my tokens growing back up quick. Oh, here we go. Purple potion right off the bat. That's what I'm talking about, yo. Alright, whole lot of shit. Let's do a free refresh. Alright, so this one got me some tokens. It's not too bad. This one got me some jewels. It's not so bad. This one's shit, so I'm going to refresh it. I don't know, the refresh is always worse. There we go, three tokens, better than nothing. Don't want to get crazy refreshing. Alright, Supply Depot, did I do that yet? No. I've been buying a lot of the bottle cap openers and I was thinking, man, once the tavern test thing comes back, I got like, I don't know, 55 bottle cap openers. I think I'm getting close to the amount that I need to complete the mission. It's really just jewels I need. So if I can get 10,000 jewels, that'd be pretty sweet. But well, for now, that's a long shot. Let's see, did any more events start? No, nothing yet, eh? I was thinking I've never gone through such a slow period. This casino event is really slow because I defeated it. Vibram store doesn't have anything I need. I can't believe I got 48 Vibram tokens. That basically means whatever hero I want on the Vibram store I can buy. <clears throat> I 
All right, let's do a little bit of the campaign. Ooh, 300. Still none. Bastards. They're really holding out on those little dipper frags. See how many I got already. Well, up to 27, which is pretty good. I was hoping I would have got some more there, but oh well. Piece of shit. Alright, let's do a dungeon battle. And let's try lightning. Shock the shit out of them. Well, this matchup with the Raptors versus the Celtics, it reminds me of when the Raptors had to face Philly. Because when we faced Philly, that was our hardest match in the playoffs. Golden State was an easy team to beat. I've, I've never played such a weak team. It's like I kind of wish they had 10 Kevin Durant's healthy. At least it would have made it more of a challenge. It's like all they had was a bunch of three-point shooters. You have a little bit of defense, and they suck balls. Golden State was the biggest joke of a team I've ever seen in the NBA. <laughs> I think it's because the West was such a weak division that it made them seem like a good team. But really, it's like any team in the West is easy to beat. I don't know, I think it was what happened when... Back when Kobe used to have a good team with the Lakers, that's when the West was good. Back when they had Steve Nash and Phoenix Suns, that's when the, the West was a good division. The West has been like a garbage division for a long time. I can't believe the analysts go on and on about how good it is. I think it's because all the good players in the entire Western division went on one team. And then they started saying, oh, look how great we are. It's like, well, yeah, you didn't really get any better. You just took away all the good players from all the other teams. And benched them. So it's like you had no one left to play against. I kind of feel like that same thing is starting to happen with the Raptors. Like if Giannis leaves the Bucks and plays for the Raptors next season, can you imagine how bad we're going to slaughter the other teams? It's like, oh my god, we're already slaughtering everyone. It's like we make our team even better? It's like, holy... Kind of feel sorry for the rest of the NBA. They're never going to win again. <laughs> Maybe Golden State can get some sort of revival going, but I'm pretty sure their team's done forever. Raptors completely destroyed them. There's nothing left of that team. That's the one thing. You can beat a team in the playoffs, but man... Raptors not only defeated Golden State in the playoffs, but they destroyed their franchise. They finished them. I doubt they'll ever win a playoff game again. Alright, let's see what we got. Second place, guitar, 200, 2 level 100 shit. That's good. Oh, someone won level 110 gear. That cunt. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't want to offend people with the C word. I meant to say bloody gaping cockhole. <laughs> I mean the chickens from England. What the hell are you guys thinking? Get your mind out of the gutters. Alright, let's see what I can do. Looks like team number two I should be able to beat. They got a gold Catholic hero. Let's see what, what I was missing when I got rid of him. I was going to say lightning. I don't even have any lightning heroes. This bowl is a drip of vapor oil on a bed of my dry uh, homegrown weed. Our already vaped bowl.
Oh yeah, my team's basically just tearing them a new hole so they can shit out of their ass. Huh. That wouldn't be a new hole. <laughs> Like, you know what I'm gonna do to you? I'm gonna tear you a new hole so you can shit out of your ass. <laughs> People will be like, what do you think I shit out of now? Man, that Catholic hero, he could sure take a beating. Now, I was reading the Facebook page, what was it today, for Clone Evolution, and there was this chick that was posting a comment if she should make, I think was it Peace Man to gold? Then I was commenting that I used the gold Peace Man to reach Trump. Or it could have been Catholic hero, but I'm pretty sure it was Peace Man. And she had a really good hero, and she almost used him as ingredients, but luckily people warned her. It's like, I wish people would have did that for me with Robin, so I wouldn't have wasted all those Robin fragments. God, I had so many of them, and I just consumed them. Because I was like, man, Robin sucked at that level. When I leveled her up, she couldn't do anything. It's just because I got her so early in the game, it was too weak of a level for her to be an effective hero. Her healing sucked, her attack sucked, so I just consumed her. Yeah, I'm surprised so many people use Robin in their teams. I guess she isn't that bad once you level her up. Well, this Catholic hero had the extra health. It's like, man, you want to hit him, it doesn't even do much. There, the extra health wore off. Now he's dizzy. He's on double fire, still can't kill him. There we go, now he's dead. Oh yeah, I had a comment from one of the viewers in the Facebook chat today too. They are saying that, man, you're always spamming episodes in the chat every day, so that's why he doesn't like my show. And I tried to emphasize that I'm not spamming the same episodes over and over again. I'm actually making a new episode every day. And then I only share it in two groups. One in Reddit and one in Facebook. So I don't think it's really that excessive amount of sharing. So when I explained it to him, he said, yeah, that makes sense. I know, I was thinking it does seem like an excessive amount of episodes, because most people when they post episodes, like one a week or something. So maybe four a month. But then when I make episodes every day, it's like fucking 30 episodes a month. It's quite a lot. I was looking at my archive, it's like fuck, I'm borderline like three months of daily episodes. I'm hoping maybe YouTube will give out some award. Be like, you sir have made the most episodes out of anyone in a year. <laughs> so I think I should really pump it up to like a full eight hour work day. It's like eight hours of episodes every day. <laughs> <laughs> or do it like my old jobs that I used to do. It'd be like 14 hours every day. <laughs> Can you imagine a YouTuber that did 14 hours of streams every day? <laughs> They're like, dear God, do you ever turn the streams off? <laughs> Holy shit, this is up to 93% and no one defeated it. I think it's sketch to try because if I do, someone also just beat it. That's why no one else tried it. Alright, so let's do the red one too. Yeah, that's how I was thinking, like so many different jobs I've worked at in life. It's like a janitor or a fucking snow shoveler or a fucking weed cutter or puller, landscapers. It's like I always take it to the extreme and it's like be like the best that I could be. 
to like to the point where I'm working insane amounts of overtime and getting more done than anyone. So it's like, why don't I actually apply this to something like useful in life? It's like if I applied that same work ethic to fucking YouTube, God, I could probably make it more than I am cutting grass. It's like, what's better, shoveling snow for 14 hours or fucking YouTubing for 14 hours? Now I was thinking maybe I'll get a body action cam and do a recording of what it's like to be a snow shoveler in Canada for a day. Like a time lapse video. That'd be pretty cool, I bet. I don't get it, man. I took some of this vodka, the Bentley, and I poured it in a glass and I like uh, finished most of it, but then I left half the shot glass. And then I fucking came back the next day and sipped it some more and it tasted a little bit less harsh. Like not as much alcohol in it. I guess because a lot's evaporating. But today it's like there's still a little bit left in the glass. I'm sipping it. I almost can't taste alcohol. It's like, is that right? Should it just go down to water? <laughs> I thought there was barely any water in vodka. Or is the vodka just getting weaker? Less potent? Or maybe I got some weird batch of vodka. I was thinking when I was drinking that vodka, I was barely catching a buzz. I've drank like half that 60 ounce and I think I got a little glow. Tasted really harsh though. It's like fire. Yeah, barely any alcohol. Yeah, I wish the rewards were a little bit better for this. It's probably because I hardly ever use those cube things. So I don't really care. I never really noticed the difference leveling it up and said, hey, look how much of a difference this did. Yeah, did you see on the weather today? They're announcing that some places in the U.S. are getting snow tomorrow. It's like, holy shit, we're breaking weather records. They're like 100 years old. All evidence is pointing towards the start of a deadly ice age. And scientists are going to have to figure out a way to warm the planet. So I was like, dear God, here we've been playing this carbon tax for how many years? And it was all for nothing. Now we got to figure out how to fucking warm the planet. I always wonder that too. I'm like, man, which would you rather have? Fucking barren wasteland of fucking ice? Or a fucking nice tropical paradise that's nice and warm? Which are you more afraid of? And here we're fucking paying tax trying to prevent the fucking warm paradise. That reminds me of the Magi prophecy. Everything is going to be the opposite. Fucking one day we'll be living in a fucking drought where the whole, f or no, a fucking flood. Where the whole planet is water. And they'll have us paying a tax because we don't have enough water. Save the water tax while we're all fucking drowning. You notice how when Trump upgraded to red, he really didn't upgrade that much at all. And like if it wasn't for his extra health going up, I don't think I would have noticed anything. Like his attacks really don't work any better, they don't do any more damage. Or maybe they're doing slightly more damage and it was so weak before I couldn't even tell the difference. Like even Uncle Joe's attacks are doing more. I was thinking of doing, maybe to try beating this level, I could boost up Alex's defenses, but I think it's just a waste of time. 
I'm not beating this level anytime soon. Alright, we got those two pieces of 100 armor. I should upgrade someone else to level 100 gear. Who did I give the 100 to last time? Oh yeah, here's the stupid part. Ah, oh, fuck, that's not what I wanted. I wanted him to have a full set of 100, but then when I upgraded his shit, it upgraded it to 110. Just fucking annoying. Alright, I guess no one else has a suit of 100 gear even close. So I'll have to pick someone to start leveling up with 100 gear. I don't want to break up anyone's full set in 90s. Because they get the bonus from having the full set. I wish he had a full set of 100. Fuck man, screwed that shit. Alright, his stuff isn't really a full set of anything, so... We'll give Symphony a fucking setup of all weird shit. Let's collect some rewards. This is a lot of weak ones. Love how fast this is now. Remember how long this used to take? There we go. They want me to consume a little bit of heroes, so I'll consume a few of the green ones. We'll do three of them. Fuck, almost consumed Joan. The hell was that bullshit? Alright, so I'll just boost up Trump a little. Pass card. We'll give that a go. Turn the wait to one day to figure out how that pass card system works. A little bit slow to figuring out stuff. Some people have pointed out in the chat. Maybe once I get it, usually I get it better than anyone. So I figure being a little slow ain't the end of the world. Yeah, I'll, I'll reach that 8,000 flowers again in no time. Because at least now I know that sending those red ones is really making a difference for reaching a higher amount faster. 
All right, we gotta do some expeditions. We beat the gold chest battle yesterday, but I think that was a fluke because they gave us really easy teams. I don't know why all of a sudden they just give you easy teams. Maybe it's if you lose a whole bunch of times in a row, they start feeling sorry for you and let you win. I think that must, must be what happened in my situation. All right, let's tear him a new one. Yeah, I had some good news today. My neighbor was really nice and got my Uncle P a brand new bed. He hasn't had a new mattress in years, so hopefully that helps him. It kind of scares me. I can't even remember when I got a new mattress either. I think I got my mattress used when I was a teenager. <laughs> So, <laughs> my mattress is probably older than me. <laughs> I know my chiropractor is asking, he's like, is your bed older than eight years? <laughs> it's like, yes. <laughs> now, to be honest, I've like tried laying on modern beds and Modern beds have changed a lot since the mattresses they used to make 40 years ago. Like the new mattresses are like sponge or whatever. Like back in the mattresses I was laying on was like fucking springs and shit. Metal springs. <laughs> Coils and metal springs. And like fluffy shit like cotton I guess. It's back in my day we used to buy drugs from gangs. Now today we get our drugs from the government. As much as I miss buying it from gangs. <laughs> Not that I ever did that, I swear. Just a figure of speech. <laughs> now I can see why the gang lifestyle is so tempting. Best drugs, best parties, hottest chicks. Most fun. <laughs> it's like if it wasn't for the whole jail thing. <laughs> throws a whole monkey wrench into everything. That's how I was thinking if I was made president of the states or Canada, I would make a, a completely giant like red list red light district city. I don't know, maybe city or province or depending how many criminals you have like in the states they have that one place I don't know if anyone's heard of it called the Mesa and it's like this sort of like a, a big city in the desert that has no laws because it's just like a town of anarchy where people live in like run down trailers and stuff with no facilities it's like I don't even know how they get water out there and there's even gangs of kids that go around robbing and killing people. I was like, it's like Mad Max. I was like, dear God, can you imagine if there was like a place like that where when you got caught being a gang member and they're like, hey, do you want to spend 20 years in jail? Or would you rather go live in the Mesa or Mesa or whatever they call it? Because really, like, if people want to choose a life of crime, should they have to live in incarceration their whole life or just go live amongst other criminals? and their own society of criminals. And then and once you want to get out of that society of criminals, you'd have to apply and prove that you could obey the laws long enough to go back and live with the law-abiding people. <laughs> that's what I was wondering. That's the problem with the states' is prison system, is their prison system has reached the point where it's like the size of a country. So it's like, why the fuck do they, are they all still in jail? 
Shouldn't they just get land to be able to live in a place with no laws? <laughs> I guess there's always the risk that they would build up a giant army and attack the law-abiding people. <laughs> Now look at Australia, they tried it and they ended up turning into one of the most prosperous countries around. Although I doubt the Mesa or the Mesa is having the exact same success. <laughs> and I was watching the life of the Mesa, I think it was some like documentary. They showed us some people run away there with their kids. It's like so these kids end up living in a society of just like criminals all living in trailer parks getting high and drunk all day no one works I guess they don't have to prepare for the winter because they're in the desert but the whole getting running water and shit that would be fucked I'm pretty sure what they do is they get some people that have vehicles and they they make runs to the city and get supplies but I still wonder where these criminals are getting the money for the supplies. Like if you're living in anarchy, you probably don't, and you don't have a job, where are you getting money? Maybe illegal, illegal sales. Prostitution, maybe. That's why I have to wonder, a lot of the problems our society is facing, we keep trying to look for like normal solutions. So I'm pretty sure we've reached the point where society needs some pretty more drastic solutions. These normal ones aren't working. Yeah, imagine every city had to do that, where they had to make one part of their city just free to live in, where people could just be homeless if they want. See, I think that's the thing with like really rich people is they keep buying all the nice land and then they try to make it so the homeless people aren't allowed to live there. Well, as we can see in California's instance, the homeless people just won't listen and they'll come back and take over. So many of them. Now it's funny, back in the early 90s, I was actually considering just packing up and going to California too. Because I'm like, shit, why should I just spend my whole life trying to be successful to live a life on the beach? When I could just leave now and go live on the beach right away. I was kind of glad I stayed and tried to build a successful life instead. Even though I failed miserably. <laughs> Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, no. There goes Samson, taking his toll on me. It's like, man, if my players wanted to survive, we should have focused our attacks on Samson. There we go. Well, as far as casualties go on this battle, it wasn't so bad. We're not through it yet, but... The Wright Brothers is pretty weak. I'm surprised you made it this far without getting slaughtered already. There we go. Got a little bit of stun action in there. Give time for my healers to work their tricks. There we go. Keep him frozen. Nice and dead. There we go. Nice and healed. There we go. Nice and frozen. Too bad. I was hoping Samson would charge up his ability. Man, I can't believe how far we keep making it in this row of heroes. They keep giving me ones that are within my range I can actually kill. Which is very surprising. I don't know, is that enough healing? I hope so. It's a 
a lot of healers with a within the water element team. Three characters that can just heal themselves. And then I was thinking Crime Fighter can heal the rest of them. And if anyone hits Crime Fighter, they get poisoned for their trouble. I think maybe the enemies will just to avoid hitting them. It was funny, I tried uh, breaking up some of the weed today because my uncle came over. He wanted to try my homegrown, so I rolled it up into a joint, a few joints so that we could do the social distancing and not share. And he said it already tasted too dry. I was like, too dry? It's like I just picked it like four or five days ago. It hasn't even been drying seven days. But I was thinking he was right in a way. It's very close to too dry. Like I just want it dry enough that I can cut it up in the grinder and powderize it. Right now it's still too sticky that it won't make any powder. The crystals or powder is what vaporizes best in my vaporizer. Although the stickiness is kind of nice too. Fuck's sakes, I don't know if I got enough to beat this battle. Three golds that are 130, a purple, and a 110, and a 106. God, it's pretty tempting to attack them. Let's get a quick message from our sponsor first, see if they can help. Today's insane battle is brought to you by Crack. Crack, it'll fuck you up. Alright, welcome back everyone. Let's give this battle a try. I have a feeling it's going to crash just clicking start, but we'll, we'll do our best. Mmm. So far so good. Looks like it's making it. That's what I needed was a little bit of freezing and a little bit of ice action. Stun, something. We got two stuns and no freezes out of it. Oh, that was close. Symphony almost bit the dust. Oh, there he did. Fucker. Alright, we managed to kill two. Oh, there we go. I needed her frozen. Come on, crime fighter. Do your trick. Oh, there's Samson. I don't want to jinx it, but the battle's looking pretty good at this point. We'll see this guy with the axe. He might have some tricks up his sleeve. We gotta get Samson healed. There we go. Come on, get Samson healed. Yeah. The only time I ever worry in battles is when Samson gets low on health. When he's low on health, it's like, oh fuck. There goes the one person that can kill people. When Samson's still alive, like the other team's shitting bricks. They know one hit from Samson can fuck them. Oh yeah, this battle's going good. There's Samson's turn. He 
So maybe the game adjusted somehow for me. Started making it easier when they realized I was getting slaughtered every time. Like some of those battles were so bad, I was only making it to the third stage and I was already dead. All my teams. Alright, another gold chest. Two purples, pretty good. There's the daily task completed. Another chest, five of those, not bad. It wants me to complete the advanced clones and the ordinary clones and the tavern tasks. The advanced clone is over 24 hours away. So yeah, I guess I'll use one of those. Good shit. But the regular one, I'll just wait until the timer comes around. Right, the only other thing is the tavern tasks, and I'm pretty sure they're going to take a few hours to go. Oh yeah, two, three hours for each one. So I'll have to cash those in tomorrow. Let's see, it's 40 minutes. What other battles do we have left? It's funny, this has reached the situation where there's so few limited events that each episode I'm going to have to play the dungeon a fair bit. Because all the other battles I just fly through. I'll go to the institute, correct some of that shit. There we go. Plus one in the green. So I'll get to upgrade that today. I think maybe I'll go and upgrade some of the guild stuff too. I haven't upgraded that in a while. Oh yeah, and I still have that armor. Gotta throw that on. Eight percent hit point increase. That's pretty good. All right, the other thing I was going to upgrade was the guild. You can see I haven't spent any in a while. Uh, let's try a front row health increase by 2%. No. Defense by 4%. That's pretty good. Who do I usually fight a lot? Lightning creatures? Oh, that's a good critical rate increase. Alright, so that was a bit of upgrades to that. 
still need my Darius Fragment before I can start doing some major upgrades. But that will have to do for now. Alright, who else did I need? Is there anyone ready to be upgraded in the Darwin Center, you think? I have to start looking at the heroes I need for these. Ooh, weird heroes. That one already checked. Yeah, he needs Darius. Surprise, surprise. See, the only one this chick needs is Kim Jong-il. Then I can upgrade her to gold. I don't think I'll use her as gold for anything, but maybe DNA. She's got nice tits. Alright, let's try the dungeon. Hmm. Yeah, this is the severe beatdown team, right? That's, yeah. Let's try the water element for Alex. See if it helps him survive the battle. Yeah, I was trying to narrow it down today to decide what kind of weed this is that I grew. It's funny because I recognize the taste, but looking at it, I don't recognize what it looks like. And the taste that it has is the same as the purple ayahuasca strain that I had before. So I'm thinking one of the plants that involved in a hybridization must have been the purple ayahuasca. But the other plant that it grew with it took away the purple color and made it really bright orange. Like green, neon green and orange. And got rid of all the purple. Which is kind of nice, because I come to realize I don't like my weed when it's purple. I prefer the traditional colors. Well, the one year I had the purple ayahuasca plant, it was kind of neat. It was neat to see purple buds. But I just didn't like the taste tasted nasty and for me taste is a big portion of what I like weed about even if weeds getting me really high and I don't like the taste I'll just smoke stuff I like the taste of better Now this homegrown weed, it definitely isn't the strongest weed I have right now, but, or maybe it is. Just built my tolerance to vaporizing it for a week straight now. It was nice I was able to phase out the white rhino. Don't need to add it anymore. Yeah, I must have had like, I don't know, 10 different kinds of weed seeds that people gave me. The one kind I hated the taste the most happened to be the kind that grew. Alright, server crashed. I'll be right back, everyone. Alright, hey everyone, I'm back. It took me a long time to get the show ready, but booted eventually. 
and I was watching some funny videos, so it's kind of funny. <laughs> Alright, let's try it again. See if we can beat this damn dungeon level. Just won't end. Sorry, I had some sound on. The only thing I was thinking, swap out maybe Wright Brothers with someone slightly stronger, but... Maybe someone with more healing? And poison? Maybe they'll like a little bit of poison. I get the feeling that was pretty good. All I needed was a little bit more stun luck. That poison seemed to be effective. They liked it. Like, ah, poison! <laughs> yeah, because he hit him and hit him. If only he wouldn't have dodged it, it would have poisoned him. There we go. He didn't dodge it that time. Holy fuck. Dead already. See, I think I can beat this level. It's just when the level starts, the opponent needs to have one or two characters frozen. If they start frozen like that, we'll be set. Wish I had another ice hair hero I could bring in. Sword God. <laughs> or water. Let's try that. Hope for the fucking the ice. Fuck, no one frozen. Yeah, just without that frozen ability, it's not a good battle. Well, that was my worst battle yet. Didn't kill any of them. How's that? Not much luck in that battle either. Let's try moving Crime Fighter to this position. See if the just changing positions can do the trick.
Holy. It seems like my team's stun ability is just useless with the, the water. It's not freezing them at all. Which I don't get. Like, why? Almost every character on my team has some sort of stun or freeze ability. Must be because my team's just too low a level to actually successfully land it. Like, holy fuck, my whole team just dies with one hit. One hit is all it takes. Now if I can stun that main team leader long enough to wipe out his other teammates fuck so useless I hate this battle I really can hardly wait till the game gets some more events back because I really don't want to play this dungeon all the time it's a useless battle I'm way in over my head. I'm nowhere even close to beating these ones. Yeah, it's a shame. I had everyone dizzy that time that I needed dizzy, and it didn't seem to affect the battle at all. It's like even though he was diddy, dizzy, I was still just dying off. Maybe I need to get him dizzy sooner. No, no dizziness there. Oh well, I shouldn't complain too much. At least I managed to win the gold chest in today's battles. And I didn't really need to win that one anyways. They keep telling me to look here, but there's nothing. So 261 hours everyone. Hopefully we can ditch this vibranium store and get a new batch. It'll be Darius in there. Boom. Then I can pick between Samson and Jane Austen. I was going to ask my viewers and even my patron, if you had to pick between, what is it, Darius, or no, not Darius, if you got Darius and had to pick between a gold Samson and a gold Jane Austen, who would you pick? I'm thinking I'm leaning towards the gold Samson because I already have him at five stars, but gold Jane Austen would be very tempting because of my team would be super strong for healing. Like we'd never need healing again. We'd basically be at full health every round. So that'd be kind of nice. But we'll see when that time comes. Still quite a ways away. 
kind of wait till the 93 hours is over and we can ditch this casino event. I'm actually kind of tired of seeing it. I shouldn't be that upset because I did get a lot that I wanted from the casino event, but I was just kind of hoping a little more of what I actually needed. I was thinking for sure I would have got a new gold out of the deal. Oh yeah, we still got this 90 gear. I'll equip it with someone quick. Oh, she's got a set of 80 gear. Alright, that's all the equipment I needed equipped. Some 70 gear I'm not using anymore. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm almost at 8,000 jewels. I'd like to push that over 10,000. That'd be sweet. Alright, thanks everyone for watching the show today. If you want to help out the show to make it possible for me to make even more episodes, make sure to join Patreon. You can help me out with my monthly subscriber thing. And other donations are always possible. And if you want to make uh, me happy too, you can make sure to check out the Society6 store. We got shirts in there. Finishing quick is my specialty. Schwagbucks is a place you can get percentages off. So that way you don't need to use discount codes or you can use it in combination. I'm pretty sure. Game kit, you can get paid to be a gamer. Hideout, watch paid to watch videos. Bitcoin is that free lottery spins you've seen before. Virtual Mate is the sex machine for adults only and currently only for men as well. But ladies, if you need a sex machine, you know who to call. Let's go Raptors. Hope Raptors can manage to beat the Celtics tomorrow. That'd be pretty sweet. That would really make my day. Even more than getting Darius. <laughs> Alright, um, what else was there? Hmm, I think that's everything. Alright everyone, I'll check into the bag of surprises and see what I got today. Today we got the Extreme Seafood Platter. If you happen to get the Extreme seafood platter level 120 in your vaporizer even though this seafood doesn't taste very fresh it probably doesn't taste good to vaporize either so if that happens give the show a dislike but if that doesn't then you can help with a like I really appreciate it and make sure to never buy the products from my sponsor because it will ruin your life bye for now everyone see you later hope everyone has a good long weekend Here's the subscribe button, two videos, two at the same time.